So in this video, we're going to show you a couple of different traditional weapon styles from the Chinese martial arts system. Uh, three different weapons that we'll show today is uh, the three-sectional staff, the spear, and the nunchucks. So nunchucks is very famous and popular in the Japanese martial arts styles as well as the Chinese martial arts styles. I'm here with two of my teachers, Jeff and Nathan, and Nathan, we're going to show you a few techniques to try at home with your nunchucks. So you everybody know the nunchucks? Chain in the middle. We're going to start off with a couple of uh, basic moves, starting with just an up and down motion. Really trying to swing it hard out and up, and out and down, back and forth. You can go to the, uh, switching the side to side, underneath the ribs, off the arm, fanning it very far out, like you've got an opponent coming at you and you want to take them out before they get to you, all the way out. And we can try to add it into some sort of combination. So you can start by bouncing off the leg, under the arm, across the body, off the shoulder. Under the leg, off the arm, across the body, or the shoulder. Next, you can bounce off the leg, off the arm, capture it underneath your arm. From there, you can do a shootout kind of attack. You should be whipping the nunchucks out, straight out the back. Trying to go for all directions, up, down, left, right. Goes out like a whip and comes back underneath your arm for the next attack. Next is going to be the over the head attack. So having your nunchucks out to your side, be spinning it around the top of your head, down to your side, around your head again, and back out. Around, over, around, and back behind. Around, over, and around, and back behind. To add into a combination, you can grab it with your other hand on the other side, and spinning it with the other hand out and back around and capture. Spinning around, out, back, and capture. Around, out, back, and capture. And just try this a couple of times, just keeping that broad strike every time. Capture underneath the arm. All right, the next one we've got as you can see, this is the spear, much longer weapon than the nunchuck. First thing is the grip. So, you're going to want to grab this so that you have whatever hand is in the back. In this case, it's my right hand. It's going to be palm down. My front hand is going to be palm up. A couple of basic moves that I can show you from this grip. First one is going to be deflecting low. So we deflect low, and then we're going to block down over top. So deflect low, and then block down over top. Deflect low, block down over top. So the rear hand is coming up to the shoulder, and then down to the hip. Up to the shoulder, down to the hip. Up to the shoulder, down to the hip. Right from here, we can go into our third basic move, which is going to be simply thrusting it out and then back. Thrust it out and then back. So we can put all those together. We can deflect down, block down over top, thrust it out. Deflect to the side, block down over top, and then thrust it out. Thanks. So the next weapon is the three-section staff. If you have seen how to spin a regular staff, it's the same exact thing. So even if you haven't, a basic spin is take the three sectional in your hand and with your palm up, okay? Keep this hand safe in your chest and have your pinky lead the way. So you can start by closing it, holding it like this, and just have the pinky go up, rotate, pinky up. I always put these flags on the end because it just helps a beginner um, so they're able to see where the end is at all times. Plus, it makes a cool sound, adds some wind resistance, and makes it a little bit better for the performance aspect. So pinky up. Pinky up, pinky up. So get this flow going. Once you think that you've got it, you're gonna let go, pull the three sectional again, and go pinky up the whole time. And if you keep the momentum right, it'll open up nice and just continue this there. And my pinky is going up the whole time, and faster and faster. Good. Once you have that, second spin is hold your hands on the middle section like this, palms down. Rotate one time underneath your arm so you have your right arm palm down and your left hand palm up. You're going to keep that rotation going. You're going to rotate to the left and underneath. Now the left hand's down, the right hand's up. To the right underneath. Now the right hand's down, the left hand is up. Rotate this way and down. Rotate this way and down. And so on. Do it without stopping. You rotate the two things. Then we 
can switch from this spin back to what we showed a second ago on the knee. And then switch from this spin back to the other spin. We have the second spin, the first spin, back to the second spin, and then kill it. So, those are three, three of our traditional weapons in our Chinese system. Please subscribe to our channel. Check out our website at phoenixlongevityarts.com. And I'm Jake Mace for Nathan Morrison and Jeff Sepatachini. Go home and practice on your own. Thank <laughs> you.